I know what you're thinking. Why isn't this hanging in an art museum somewhere, <laughs> right? I know it's super impressive and all done in less time than you can say Picasso. Almost. I've been playing around with some of the new AI tools out there and came across this one, autodraw.com. It's totally free. It doesn't even require an account to start using it. This is not sponsored, by the way. It's just a tool that I found really impressive. So let's draw that cat. Make sure you've got the auto draw selected here and then literally just start drawing. So we'll have the circle for a head and up here on top, it's trying to figure out what you're drawing and then suggests different illustrations or different shapes that you might mean. I don't see anything looks like a cat yet, but let's draw in some ears maybe. And you'll see it's changing up there at the top. I do have a rhinoceros up here, interestingly enough, but that's not what I want. So let's try some whiskers. See if that gets us closer. There we go. So here's the different cat options, a couple different faces. You can also get the full cat if you want. So pretty cool. And then once you have the one that you want, you can just select it using the select tool here, and then you can resize it, you can move it around, rotate it, and so on. I'll just move this one over to the side here and continue on with our masterpiece. Let's do a bicycle next. So a couple of wheels. I'm seeing sunglasses up here on the top, but that's not what we want. Let's go ahead and connect these together. There we go. We've got bicycles here, a few different options. We've got a Vespa. We've even got motorcycles up here. So you just have to kind of get started and give it an idea of what you're trying to draw, and then it'll fill in the gaps for you. You can also change the fill colors on these. So let's select this one. And then with the color picker here, let's say we want this to be red. There you go. All right. I'll do just a couple more to give you an idea of what it can do here. Maybe you need to draw a computer monitor for something. So we'll just do a rectangle here. Incidentally, you can just add shapes as well, just by clicking on shapes, and you'll see the three that you have up at the top there. But we'll continue with the auto draw. And maybe for the monitor stand, something like this. Not quite what we want. Let's draw a little bit more here to see if we can get our computer monitor. Here we go. This is what I had in mind. And it's also giving you some associated things as well, like a computer mouse. And you'll see I do have that odd rectangle that's still there. So we could select that and get rid of it. Resize, move this over here. You can also just draw, draw. If you don't want it to be smart, you can just draw squigglies or whatever, and it'll just keep it that way exactly. So that's also an option. You can also do typing. Like this, with some basic options for fonts up here and different sizes. All right, I'll select those and delete. Let's do one more here. We'll go back to auto draw. Let's say we want to draw a tree. So something like this for the holidays. And we'll see if that recognizes what I'm trying to do. Here we go. Maybe we make this select it green. Perfect. You can also do basic undo functions here with the back arrow or even control Z will work. So get everything just the way you want it. Maybe you're creating a scene or maybe you're just doing individual shapes or objects. And then all you need to do is just come up here to your menu and then you can download. It'll download these as a PNG image file for you. You can also share them. There is no option to save these and come back to them later since you don't really have an account. So if you were to start over with a new canvas here, basically everything's gone. So just a heads up there. All right, so that's it in a nutshell. Maybe not things that you would hang in an art museum, but it seems like a great way to speed things up for simple drawings and illustrations that you might need to do for work or for a hobby. If you enjoyed this, check out my playlist with other artificial intelligence and machine learning topics, and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks so much for watching.